So, swingers, there I were. There we, there he were. Trying to have... There he blow. I had just about everything done, right? Everything but the exhaust. I'm like, Logan was just in an accident, and he already told me he probably won't be able to help, or just, he won't want to. I just wasn't feeling it, swingers. So I go out of my way, and I'm like, okay, I'll call Erin, and maybe she'll help me. And she comes over. And she says, Swingers, I thought this was going to be easy. Because my exhaust is all one piece, and it's basically the length of the car. I'm just saying, I had no problems getting my exhaust in and out by myself on my cruise. A much smaller car. Is it really that much smaller than a 97 528i? Technically, my car is a midsize. Yes, but uh, that was a mid-size in 1997, which is comparable to a compact in 2011. And you and I both know it. 97 528i dimensions. So, swingers, write this down so we all remember. And while you're writing it down, make sure to write down that subscribe button. Also, my exhaust is made out of stainless steel. So, 188 inches long, 171 inches wide and 57 inches tall for the 1997 528i. And then 2011 Chevy Cruz. 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 Your Cruz, well, mine's Cruz now. Um, so you are seven inches longer than me. <laughs> we are the same width and I am an inch taller. So what you're saying is I'm more aerodynamic. No. That's not what I'm saying. You're almost assuredly not. And you almost assuredly have a small penis. Uh, bigger than yours, meatbag. But yeah, so we eventually get two jacks out to help put this exhaust into the heaviest shit. And I was not climbing under the car. Because I did come out. I didn't really plan to help. I just was out there to talk a little bit. And then I ended up helping anyways. And I managed to get this uh, exhaust wedged up against the engine block and the sway bar so it can't move. So we have to wiggle the shit out of it and get it to move. And eventually it does. And I get it in place and I'm like, okay, cool. And I start moving, trying to put the center cross member in. And I dropped it on my face. Yeah, he, he cut his mouth a little bit. Not even too bad, but like, a little bit. Oh, it cut both the outside and inside of my mouth, which I was not expecting. Well, I simply wouldn't have an outside of the mouth. I don't remember this cave. Is this where you find the first map piece? No. No, that's in the Seth Temple, isn't it? Uh, something like that. No, here we are for uh, lightsaber crystals. Okay, that was my other guess. Because you have a lightsaber now. But I assume you can get... What? This is where you get to pick your crystal color. Uh... Persuade... Treat Ingury. Um... Is there any reason to give, like, Karth Persuasion? I don't think so. Because, like, he doesn't get dialogue choices. Can you pick purple from here? Uh, I can get a lot of things in here. You really don't get, um, Sith points for doing that? Not really. Are there any of the enhancement crystals, or is it just the blade crystals? Like, brilliant really color crystals in here? Not sure. Because this game only has five five red blue green yellow purple yeah i mean there's not many in star wars lore to begin with and nor should there be i mean seth if you play um force unleashed there's like significantly more you can get black i think you can get white which is white's canon now yeah because of ahsoka yeah um Although, I think that's it for canon colors, right? Red, blue, purple, yellow, black. and black. 
Oh yeah, the dark saber. Yeah. Is kind or of the most important lightsaber in Star Wars right now. Eh. Is orange cannon again yet? I don't believe so. What about like the variations of like the eight different reds or the thirty-four different blues? So there were technically two. There was the Sith synthetic crystals and natural red crystals. Well, that was old cannon. Right. I want to say there are still cannon red crystals that Jedi use, though. Because I want to say, like, Plo Koon used to use a red one or something. Uh, he did. Was it actually Plo Koon? Was I right on that? I believe you are. Karth, band-aid yourself up, you piece of shit. Yeah, Karth. Why you gotta be such a shit of peace? Why do you have to be such a shit of peace? Okay. Is there I'm any... actually gonna go back to uh, the Jedi Temple. I mean, there's nothing else to do right now until you go hunt down Juhani's next, right? Yeah, and I'm just gonna, like, beef up my lightsabers and shit. Well, yeah, there's no reason not to. Also, shouldn't I have a Padawan robe on? Uh, you don't have one. I do not have a Padamame suit. You don't have a panda bear suit? I don't have a panda bear suit. Do you have a panda get the disco suit? Also, no. Guys, he needs new suits. What about zoot suits? Swingers, swingers, what we need you to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Get that engagement going so that Seth can afford some new suits. For real, Because he I doesn't need... even have a Panasonic suit. He doesn't have a panoramic suit. He doesn't have a Pandora suit. He doesn't have a Pantera suit. Okay, we don't want Pantera. Point, good point. Good point. Do they even have any good songs? I like Cowboys from Hell. I like Walk. I like Cemetery Gates, but I, I deleted hate them. Walk. You did not delete Cowboys from Hell. No, because that's what I paid for. I think. Swingers, I get the whole. This artist is a piece of shit, so it puts a bad taste in my mouth, so I'm less inclined to listen to them. Or watch their content. That's what happened. Uh, I stopped watching fucking um, House of Cards because of what's the actor's name? Kevin Spacey. I want to stop watching House of Cards because of Kevin Spacey. I've only watched a couple, Baby Driver, a couple of times since as well. Just leaves a little bit of a bad taste. In there. But I also recognize you can't. Really? When was the last time I saved? It's been a while, man. Do the auto save. This at least might be after you got the crystals. Yeah, you, you, there's, there's, you can't. No, it was walking into the cave. Okay, that's still not as bad. Okay, so apparently I can't go out there. Which makes sense, I guess. I still can't, don't have enough force points to do burst of speed. That seems silly that you can get a spell that you cannot use when you first get it. But anyways, as I was saying, like, I, I get not wanting to, like, listen to certain people's content because of certain things they've done, or, uh, Eminem dropping the F-bomb in some of his songs. F? F. Oh, well, Green Day did that, too. Green Day did it, too. Hollywood Undead's done it. Almost every rapper's done it. Funny thing is, though, when Green Day did it, they did it to make fun of the right. They did, and that's, I think, why people won't take offense to Green Day doing it nearly as badly. And Eminem, is, he's a special case as well, in my book. Um, but I guess my point is, like, there's too much content out there, like... It's hard to be to actually listen to something where there wasn't a very bad person involved. You know, you listen to Aerosmith, you're listening to a pedo. You listen to Led Zeppelin, you're listening to a pedo. You listen to Nickelback, and you're listening to Nickelback. It's really a lose-lose situation, <laughs> like this. Yes. Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the fact that, as far as I'm aware, Nickelback, Nickelback doesn't have pedos in it, but they made their crappy music. So... They made this set of nails. Now they're gonna lie in it. 
it's really funny to hear Nickelback, def Nickelback defenders because they'll be like, uh, you only hate Nickelback because the, the DJs on the radio tell you you're supposed to. Yeah, and like, I'm I like... I hate them because they're trash. Like, how do you know the reason I hate Nickelback? And they don't. They don't, but that's irrelevant. Wait, Seth, you could have had four square. Why don't you square up with these nuts? Seth, uh, I was watching a recent Tire Swing Gaming video. I'm a little bit behind on the YouTubes right now. Um, and the word July came up, and I, I thought of a... And I... And I thought I was about to make a D's Nuts joke out of it when I heard it. And I didn't. And I was disappointed in myself. So you deserve the chair. Because I figured out a, a one I could make. Yeah? So you know July? Yeah? Do you like these nuts? That one's a bit of a stretch. I know, I know and it's worded poorly too, but there stretch is... Stretch these nuts. <laughs> I don't think you want me to do that, fam. I don't know. I feel like there are some people who are into that. And if you are, I'm kink shaming you. Yeah, I don't really mind kink shaming if your kink is bad. <laughs> like if it's not, like if, if you're in defeat, you're a weirdo. You're not that bad, but you are a little bit weird to me. There Same are some kinks out there that genuinely terrify me. Yeah, anything with non-standard bodily fluids involved, like ones that you wouldn't normally expect during the do. Uh. Yeah, those ones I'm not a big fan of. Yeah. And uh, I will I will king chain over that. Water sports, no, not healthy. No healthy way to do it. Um, blood, even worse. Bondage is fine. Yeah, you do you, or you let your partner do you. However, but like knife play, that one scares me. But like, as long as you're two consenting adults and your knife is clean, I guess go for it. Uh, I'm not sure I know much about knife play, but as long as blood's not being released, I have probably few problems with it. I'm pretty sure knife play does involve cutting. Yeah, then that's not acceptable. What? Why? You, yes. you can't... What? We're gonna Why? save in here. What? So, swingers, it becomes a health issue at that point. And when it becomes a health issue... I Ready. I yeah. don't necessarily agree with that well as two consenting adults. It's it is, but that doesn't make it necessarily okay. Two can uh, like two adults can go can they can consent to beat each other to death. Um that doesn't make it okay, you know? And I get I get that that's not necessarily a good Analogy? What's the best one I have at the moment? Listen, Logan, if I want to smash somebody's skull in with a ball peen hammer, I shouldn't do it. Yes. I agree. Now, if I want to and whack them with a inflatable hammer, that's funny. And it's even funnier if they get off on it. And it's even funnier if you like, comment, and subscribe. That would be pretty funny. You know what else is going to be funny? When Seth dies to these Mandalorians a second time. No, I'm not going that way. Oh, uh, you coward. You're so fucking soft, Seth. When you invade the estate... After Juhani. I forget why... And I don't think I'm high enough level to fight Juhani. Why do you invade the estate? Um, because they kidnapped a kid and we're gonna kill him. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, somebody was telling you about that missing kid earlier, weren't they? Yeah. At this point, I'm just kind of grinding. Well, I mean, you're also just only fighting the things that are on your way back anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to make the, uh, a population go extinct. It's not extinction. It's calling. Kate Thanos. I'm waiting for your skin to turn purple. That's racist. I understand what you're saying. 
But I do also think all purple people are evil. What about the purple people eater? He ate people. <laughs> Did he though? Or was that just propaganda? He had, Have you heard the song? The song portrays him as a relatively nice guy. I wouldn't eat you because you're too dumb. I thought you were going to go back to the Jedi Enclave. Yeah, it's this way. Wait, what was that building you were at? That was the Sandral Grounds. The what? The rich people. Oh. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention, apparently, swingers. When do you ever, ho, ho, ho. Uh, I was paying attention when that guy, was, when I was watching that guy get ready to rear on me. I just didn't really have much I could do about it at the I time. I mean, technically, you could have rolled through the red light, but uh, I don't think the cops would have been too... Not no, I couldn't. I had already stopped. So if I started going, I would have still gotten rear-ended. It would have mitigated the damage, but it wouldn't have enough to been enough to stop it outright. No shit. Yeah. I couldn't... So I, by Look at the, that flying pancake. By the time I figured out I was going to be rear-ended, or it was at least a likely outcome, I did not... I would not have been able to accelerate oh, enough in time I don't know. to not get hit. So she's the... Crazy bitch. Well, she's the one who was asking you to look into the murder? No. She's the one who was using her droid like a husband. Ooh. That's kind of awk. I love how she just faded out. It was the ideal scenario, really. It's just like, let's get this bitch out. It was best for everyone. Hey, that's Duhani's girl. Yeah. Do they stay together after Duhani comes back? Yeah. In fact, if you talk to Balaya, she is elated that you brought Duhani back. This, out of curiosity, is there like... Does Balea turn it's, to the dark side if Juhani dies? She does attempt to kill you, I think. Okay. Are you going to change your lightsaber color? What colors do you got? Ten red crystals. Well, you have killed a couple of Sith at this point. You're gonna have keep I? A, well, you've killed people labeled as Sith, at least. You're running missions via braid? I don't think I am. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize you can know everybody's at one time here. It's really convenient that everybody gets the exact same upgrades. Yeah. I take it you took that off the bar because you don't plan to use the bar too much. Like, ever. Fair. <sighs> Alright, so... So what? I think using Mission's Vibral Blade here will be slightly better for me in the long run. Well, until you have another lightsaber. Are you going to go, uh, is it, is it better to use two blades, one blade, or a staff saber? I assume the two blades. It really depends on what build you're going for. The build I'm going for, usually, um, you prefer to have two blades. Oh yeah, because you have to up, uh, two-handed, don't you? Mm-hmm. But uh, that's just the build I'm going for. You can make one-handed work. I think I want to save my reflex. Okay, bud. So now we're going to go kill Juhani next time on Tire Swing Gaming? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we could kill her, but I kind of don't want to. You're not going to. You're going to go.